Broadcasting company for a very special show. As you can see tonight, we've decided to swap the places with the comfort of our regular studio. For this lonely stay, we're here in the middle of Bethlehem. That's right, because not long ago, something happened right here on this very spot where we'll change all of our lives forever. How can you forget for a miraculous event when Jesus was born in this very stable? Tonight, we will remind you of events of that wonderful night and to help us celebrate his birth and the hope and the love that he brings, we are joined by an exciting line of post celebrities all ready to dance for us. But first, three people who are dancers must impress this evening. So put your hands together and let's meet the judges. He carried the whole truck, or at least he carried Mary, all the way to the stables. It's the donkey! to a full house. She's the hostess with her mostest. Please welcome the innkeeper's wife. <laughs> and finally, some say he has more sense than sense. The Romans everyone now take. It's Caesar Augustus. <laughs> right back to the beginning and talk to the townsfolk of Nazareth. It's been quite a time for all of us, but just in case anyone else has been asleep, please can remind us how it began. I remember it, it as it was yesterday. We were all minding our own business in Nazareth till Caesar over there. That's one of his famous decrees. Well, we all know about Rose, don't we? And what did it say? We were all told that we had to travel to the place of our birth to register to the census. Isn't that right? Yes! yes. 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 Of course he couldn't be born just down the road, could he? Oh no, 168 miles we had to travel. It plays havoc with my bunions, I can tell you. <sighs> 168 miles? Wow, that's a long journey. It was, and it wasn't easy either. There were all sorts of people on the road. There were all sorts of people from all walks of life. I saw a woman who was very heavily pregnant. That's right. I remember saying to my husband, I would like to be travelling all that way expecting a baby. Isn't that what I said? You did. You said, I wouldn't like to be travelling all that way expecting a baby. Well, I hope your feet have recovered because it's time for you and all your friends to dance for the judges. Our dance is called We Must Travel Home. Dancing a line dance. For you at home, the people of Nazareth.
find in the town folk of Nazareth. But of course, it doesn't matter what we think. Let's find out how it went down with their judges. Innkeeper's wife was an opener to the show. What can I say? That was fantastic. I love the way you all moved together so well. A great dance to open the celebration. Donkey, what do you think? You've all got great rhythm and I love... And I love the sharpness of your footwork, but I would like to see a little bit more hip action, especially from you in the front. And Caesar, can you tell us what you thought? Well, darlings, it was controlled. Your moves were together and worked out as an ensemble performance. I thought you were terrific. <laughs> That is great. How do you feel about that? Are you happy with the judges' comments? I'm so happy. So here comes like that. Makes it all worthwhile. Fantastic. Let's hope our scores are good ones. Judges, could we have your scores, please? It is a 10 from me. For me, I scored this dance a nine. For me, it's just a five, I'm afraid. Well, we're very lucky to have in the audience in tonight and have two very special guests. They're on that long journey to Bethlehem. And of course, our story probably begins with them. Please welcome Joseph and his beautiful wife, Mary. Welcome, Mary. You're looking wonderful. It's been an extraordinary time for you, hasn't it? Yes, it has. It all started when Gabriel the angel came to visit me and told me that I had been chosen to carry God's son. That must have been a shock for both of you. It was, I mean, I'm just an ordinary girl, but to be chosen for something like that, well, it's amazing. As we know, you're both on that journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And of course, Mary was heavily pregnant by them, wasn't she, Joseph? That's right, Mary was due any day. But we didn't really have a choice. When Caesar decrees something, you just need to get on and do it, don't you? Oh, yes! You mustn't displease a Caesar! <laughs> well, you're both looking very fresh now. Not too many sleepless nights up with your baby, I hope. Mary and Joseph, it's been great talking to you, and we'll see you both a little later on. But now, on to the show. Next stop, we have a triple act for you. That's right, all the way from the East. Please welcome the Camels! the first time is it? It certainly isn't. I remember we were relaxing in the desert when we approached by three imported looking men. They told us they were very wise and they had a read of prophecy that a king will be born soon. He w they wanted to go and worship him and said the wisest I will leave them. They have gifts for God, frankincense and myrrh, to the gift to a new king. So they asked if we had mind if they rode us. It, it all sounds very exciting, but to be honest, the desert was getting pretty boring, so we thought, why not? Well, we have a little surprise for you this evening. We've not seen each other since that epic journey a while ago. Say hello to your old friends, the three wise men.
dancing the camel fun the camels <laughs> Over to our judges. I thought that was a bowling. Ah. You were all over the stars. Legs, humps, and hooves. All flying around with no sense of timing whatsoever. You've got the coordination of a bucket of frogs. Yeah. Oh dear, that's a little bit harsh, she's up. Donkey, what did you think? He's always so miserable. Oh, I loved it. This dance is all about having a good time. And you certainly put the fun into funk. That's more like it, Innkeeper's Wife. What did you think? I agree with Donkey. Never mind the bucket of frogs. It was fun, fresh and funky. <laughs> Judges, could you have your scores, please? It is a one from me. I don't agree at all. It's a ten from me. And it's a ten for me. As we all know, the action wasn't just happening on the road that night. Certainly not. High up in the hills, some shepherds were minding their own business, watching their sheep happily grazing. It was quiet when suddenly the sky was filled with angels singing and happily for us dancing. And we're delighted to have them perform for us this evening. Dancing for us, a host of heavenly angels. Absolutely magical. Surely our judges were impressed by that. Caesar, can you tell us what you thought? Well, for once, I am almost speechless. It was completely captivating. I love the extension in the arms. The footwork was beautiful. You all look gorgeous. <laughs> uh, you often don't get prey by back from Caesar. Innkeeper's wife, what did you think? I, I agree. Ballet is a dance in its most beautiful form, and I've never seen it more elegantly performed. And donkey. There's only one word for it. Heavenly. <laughs> wow, that's great. 
judges, could we have your scores, please? Thank you, darling. It's a 10 for me. Fantastic. Well done. It's a 10 for me. I thought you were amazing. That's an E or 10 for me. Thank you so much. The angels, everybody. <laughs> of course, the angels weren't just dancing for fun that night. No, indeed. They had a very important message to deliver. And who better tell us about that message than the very shepherds that were watching the angels sing? Can you tell us a little about what happened that night? Well, we were sitting on the hillside watching our flock. It was pretty much a normal evening, really. Feeding sheep and watching sheep. Counting sheep. Our line of work is pretty much sheep related. I see, but something out of the ordinary happened that to you didn't it? Well, we fed the sheep. Counted the sheep. We were watching sheep. When all of a sudden the sky was filled filled with that most amazing light. There are angels everywhere. It was amazing. And what were they saying? They were telling us to travel to Bethlehem where we would find the Son of God lying in a manger. I wasn't sure at first, to be honest. But the angels are quite persuasive. We checked the sheep were all okay and then we set off to Bethlehem. What an incredible experience! Dancing the shepherds, hey? The shepherds and the sheep. But we were all grooving away, weren't we? Donkey, can we start with you? We enjoyed it so much, we joined in. That was a lot of fun and I liked it. And Caesar, dare we ask what you thought? Wow, you looked a little bit out of your comfort zone there. Awkward, clumsy, don't go up the day jobs. <laughs> Oh dear, and do you agree with that, innkeeper's wife? I certainly do not. I think it had a real rustic charm. I loved the bells and all you young men leaping around. It was great. It's time for the scores. Could we have your scores, please, judges? It is only a one from me. <laughs> I don't agree at all. It is a 10 for me. It is an 8 for me. To call our next dancer a me celebrity doesn't do him justice. To say he is famous is an understatement. To describe him as a star, he literally is a star. That's right.
Right, please give a very warm welcome to the start of Bethlehem. <laughs> so, Star, could you shed some light on your part of our story? It was my job to go to the wise men where the baby Jesus was to be born. And how did you do that? Basically, I shone really brightly, as brightly as I possibly could. Right over a stable so everyone could see me. Great. And are the stars ready to dance for us this evening? Oh yes, definitely. Dance and disco, the stars of Bethlehem. By name, star by nature. You must be impressed by that. What do you think, judges? Impressed? That was so grooving. I could hardly stop my hooves from moving. This go to the max. I'm completely with you, donkey. Foot tapping, jive talking, fun. Caesar, dare we ask? Disco fever, darlings. Give me some big hair, some glitter, and I'm away. The swim, the fun to chicken. You can hustle me at the bus stop anytime. Well, that seems to be a hit all around. Could we have your scores, please? Ten, ten, ten. When Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem, they needed to find a place to stay. Not an easy thing to do with, with a town packed with newly arrived visitors. If you need someone to stay, heed your call. Please welcome the innkeepers. So it was a pretty busy time for you, I understand. Busy? That wasn't the half of it. The place was absolutely heaving. There were people from them all over the country. Rich and poor, someone else is someone looking, and most will walk the aisles. Many walk for miles and miles on a dusty road. Swept off our feet we were. It was great for business though. I made more money in one month than I can normally make in a year. We, we, we were ever having to turn people away. Well, that all sounds very hectic, but I hope you're ready because it's time for our final dance of this evening. <laughs> Dancing and tango, the Inky was Bethlehem. <laughs> well, we need some help from our friends. Come and join us, everyone. I love a good tango. Me too, but it's our judges who can. Let's see who they thought. But I have to declare an interest here as my husband was one of the dancers. I thought you were fabulous. <laughs> I'm a big fan of tango, but I'm afraid that had the passion of a wet fish in a paper bag. Sorry, but the only part I enjoyed was when it stopped. I don't agree at all. The way you move, you literally swept your 
You literally swept your partners around the floor. That was a tango fandango. Could we have your scores, please? Disastrous, darlings. It is a one from me. Fantastic, well done. It's a gigantic ten from me. That was a big hoof tapping ten for me. But there was one special couple who had, who had real trouble finding anywhere to stay. Can you tell us about them? That's right, Mary and Joseph arrived quite late in the evening and they already tried everywhere else. I didn't have rooms left either, but I felt so, so, so sorry for them that I said if they didn't mind, they could stay right here in my stable. That was just a remarkable night, wasn't it? Oh yes, they really arrived. Baby Jesus was born soon after they all settled in. You had even more visitors after that, didn't you? Yes, it was as if the Hummel State become the biggest attraction in Bethlehem. Three wise men to see the newborn king. We followed the star to find the new baby king. We wanted to find him to worship him. We brought him gold. We brought him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And soon after that, the shepherds turned up looking for the baby saviour. We wondered what on earth was going on. So much fuss over a little baby. But of course, that little baby is the real reason why we are all here tonight. But as we all know, he is no ordinary baby and the news of his birth is spreading fast. His name is Jesus and he has been born to give God's love to all of us. Well, we hope you enjoyed this evening. This has been the most incredible time for us all. But it really is just the beginning. Jesus' presence will be felt on earth for thousands of years to come. And he will change all of our lives forever. Let's celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus with one more dance. The moves are really simple so we hope you all join in.
We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you